And first at 10 tonight, road rage across the Carolinas is happening now far too often. Everyone has seen it, whether you are on the receiving end or watching from afar as the chaos unfolds. Some drivers say being a part of a road rage situation is what they fear every time they get in the car. Good evening to you. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. And while many say their solution to road rage is to not engage the other driver yet, it's still happening. And the recent cases authorities say are now very concerning. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis joins us live from Charlotte. Will, CMPD says the number of road rage incidents have actually gone up. Yeah, that's right, Alicia. According to a captain with the Central Division, road rage, road rage incidents have gone up 10 percent from 2020 to 2021. And he says everyone in that division and with CMPD are working to reduce those incidents. Just talking to people in Charlotte and they say one fear when getting behind the wheel is knowing a road rage incident can happen at any time. Not something I think about except if the situation arose where sure, then you get worried real quickly. The crime at the forefront as a cat's driver lost his life during a road rage incident in Uptown three days ago. Police are still searching for the person responsible. In November of 2021, at the intersection of East Mallard Creek Church Road and North Tryon Street, a woman driving her children to school honked the horn at a car that almost hit her. The driver, another woman, followed her and waved a pink gun in her direction. Between 2020 and 2021, road rage incidents are up 10% according to CMPD. They range from people shooting paintball or BB guns all the way to waving actual weapons at another person. Four of our six recent aggravated assaults in the Central Division, including the homicide of Mr. Rivera, have been the result of road rage. The Queen City is not the only place seeing people being chased down in the streets. This extremely dangerous car chase took place in Guilford County. Look at the van swerving back and forth chasing this black car last week on NC-68. Both drivers were charged with failure to maintain lane control and careless, reckless driving. Drivers say it seems like more of these incidents are happening since the pandemic, so they try to stay in their own lane. Maybe getting in like a, a person upset and them getting like mad at me just for like, I don't know, driving. Police say that is the key. Don't get into arguments with other motorists and don't engage in aggressive driving and retaliatory driving. Make sure you are aware of your surroundings and most importantly, be courteous and treat others with a little bit of grace. Yeah, and police just say if you follow some of those tips, the road rage incidents could be prevented. We're live in Charlotte, Will Lewis, Queen City News.